I've been getting a lot of requests to do a convenience store, so what a better convenience store than Family Mart. And this is actually pretty good timing because this weekend I've lost my chef and I've lost my supervision. In other words, my girlfriend has gone home for the weekend, so I need to pick up some snacks and some gaming fuel and some video editing fuel and whatnot. So I figured I'd show you guys Family Mart. This is a very popular convenience store chain. Oh, I didn't set down my, my frames for a second. Hopefully it doesn't flash too bad inside. So I gotta go in and I'm gonna buy some snacks and some junk food. Wow, look at the, the lights flashing. That is horrible. Okay, well, sorry about the lights flashing, guys. Ah, this is where I wanna be. Now, I have water at home, but I'm definitely gonna need some sugary drinks. And since I don't have my girlfriend here to make coffee for me in the morning, I'm gonna buy me a Cafe Sua for 17,000. Now, for prices, guys, as a rule of thumb, 25,000 is about $1 USD. YouTube doesn't like it when I show beer, so I'm not gonna buy any beer today. I'll do that off camera later. So we've got Monster Energy here for 35,000. So that's about, I don't know, $1.50, $1.70. Definitely gonna need one of those. These stings, coffee drinks are really good. Warriors are very popular here in Asia. Also, we're gonna grab a sting too, because these are a little bit more reasonably priced can get you just as juiced up as a monster. And these are actually really good too, these number one energy drinks. These will give me the jitters really bad. And why not get twitchy while I play some video games? Soda-wise, cans of Pepsi are 10,000, so a little under 50 cents. I usually don't drink soda by itself, so I'm not gonna buy anything like that. In America, what we have is two liter bottles of Pepsi, but here we don't have two liters, we have a liter and a half. And these are uh, 17,000, it's about 80 cents. So remember guys, as a rule of thumb, 25,000 is about a dollar. That's how I do it in my head. If you wanna be technical, it's about 22 and a half to 23,000. And the Red Bull they have here is not the same Red Bull as we have in America. This is actually the Thailand version. And it's actually the original version. Red Bull in America was inspired by a man that took a trip to Thailand and wanted to copy it, and he made his own version for America. All right, now we're gonna need to get some snacks. I'm a pretty big fan of almonds. Almonds are good. What are the price on cashews? 32,000 for a bag of cashews, that's not bad. I'll take a bag of cashews too. They make a lot of cashews here in Vietnam. Here you got your dried meats. 15,000, some dried seafood. It's actually really good. Definitely can't miss out on some chips. So let's see what kind of chips they have. And of course, everyone loves Doritos. This is a very small bag, 65 grams for 31,000. So about a dollar fifty, dollar thirty for a bag of Doritos. Or you can get something like this, which is a bag about three times the size. How many grams is this? 75 grams. Actually, I guess it's mostly air. <laughs> 65 grams. This is 75 grams. So 10,000 versus 31,000. The nacho cheese flavor. If anybody knows how much Doritos cost in the USA, because I forgot, a little tiny 65 gram bag. Doesn't seem like it should be $1.50. Seems like it would be a little cheaper. I wonder if they import them. Now Lay's is another brand we have in the US. It's a fairly decent sized bag, but it feels like it's full of air. It's a 30 gram bag of Lay's for 23,000. You got a special, a bag and a Pepsi, 25,000. So essentially you get a Pepsi for 2,000. It's actually not a bad deal. I think I'm gonna do that. Even when I just said I don't usually drink Pepsi. But 2,000 Pepsi, why not? Usually 9,000, usually. So to introduce you guys more to what Family Mart kind of has, it's just like any convenience store in the West, they're gonna have a little bit of everything. Masks. 15,000, toothbrushes, Listerine, toothpaste, 
toothpaste. It's a little over two dollars right here for some Aquafresh. Almost two dollars for some Colgate. Wow, three dollars almost for some Pro Relief. It's a pretty small box. I just don't think in USD anymore, so I'm not sure how much stuff costs in the US any longer. Been here for almost three years now. Pens for a dollar, pens for 50 cents. I actually do need a few pens. I like the blue ones. <laughs> Cooking ladles, meat scissors. It's your laundry detergent, laundry detergents. Pretty expensive at 114,000, so about $5. Got all your feminine products, lotions, Boss for men, 56,000. Got your condoms. I don't think I'm gonna need these with my girlfriend gone. But if you wanted to buy them, they have them here. In the US, they keep these behind the counter so the delinquents don't come in and steal them. But here, they have them right out front. You gotta get some gum. Big fan of gum. I'd like to find some M&Ms too. M&Ms would be good. More candies, Oreos. Kind of reminds me of the bubble tape back when I was a kid. Family Mart's a pretty interesting convenience store chain. They just built this one near my house in this villa complex. Usually they have a, a Wi-Fi and tables and they serve coffee. And it looks like this one's still being built. Looks like I got some fish out there. Go out there. Usually family marts are a lot like a, uh, a coffee shop in a way. You come in and buy coffee, you can come in and buy food, you can hop on the Wi-Fi. You'll see a lot of the younger folks sitting there at tables on their laptops or playing their mobile games over the Wi-Fi to save their data. This one looks like it's just being built. Looks like they're setting up some sort of kitchen or something right here. I wonder what this will be. I'm gonna have to come back soon and check this out and see what this is. I'm gonna go upstairs. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I'm going to anyways. Let's see what they're doing up here. Yeah, so this place is still being set up. The gollies, these are very nice tables. But they're in plastic wraps. Overlooking the fish pond. Yep, they're definitely still working on it. It goes up another level. Let me check it out. This actually goes up quite a bit. I don't think I'm in Family Mart anymore. I don't know what they're doing here. I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised nobody stopped me. I'm gonna go up another level and see what's up here. Like I said, they just built this Family Mart. They got a full-size restaurant-style kitchen up here. I'm actually kind of nervous. I know I'm not supposed to be up here. And got a little balcony. So I'm up on the third floor, looking down on the street now. I'm just walking around like I own the place. Just checking out this family mart they just built. This is pretty cool. That looks like you got an ice machine here. And definitely a nice machine. So wow, this is pretty cool. Full size restaurant. Big old refrigerators. Okay, so I totally know I wasn't supposed to go up there, but I did. And I wonder if they're gonna make this into anything. These seems like these would be apartments. Someone might actually live there. Somebody's clothes on the ground. I don't know what this is at all. All right, let's get back down to where I'm supposed to be. It's very nice though. Hi. All right. So you got your frozen goods. Stuff you can pop in your little oven or your microwave and cook. Some raw meats, bacons, ice creams. Oreo bars are bomb. You can go buy me one of those. Since I've lost my supervision, I'm gonna eat some junk food. 
she won't be there to get me get on me about my weight. Let's get some peanut M&Ms. 20,000, 37 grams. This is the bigger bags. When I'm drinking, I like to eat these ones. I just shovel them in my mouth. 90 grams, looks like they came from Thailand. Those are 47,000, so $2 for, for a bag. So bun bao is pretty popular. Breakfast in Vietnam, I eat that a lot before I go to work. They don't have a very good selection of uh, hand food, finger foods here. So it looks like this place is just opening. This used to be a, a villa. This is the villa complex. I've never been inside before because they have security. A lot of rich folks live there. It's got your juices, got your yogurt. Actually, these things are really good. Ka, that's fish. Little sushi wraps. Looks like there's nothing but fish. I'm definitely gonna need a sandwich. Ka nyu, that's a tuna. And chung, that's an egg. So tuna and egg. That'll, that'll be good. I don't drink much milk anymore. When I first came to Vietnam, I used to have a lot of cereal in the morning. I kind of quit doing that. Some eggs for 35,000. Nothing better than a fried egg in the morning. So I think I'll take one of those. I'm a big fan of having some kimchi with my rice. So I'm gonna grab one of these for 49,000. Hopefully I have enough money. I'm pretty broke. I think I got maybe a little over $20 in my wallet. All right, well, let's check out. Once again, guys, I'm sorry about the flashing lights. I still can't figure out why my GoPro picks up the, the frequency of those lights flashing. I did everything I could in the settings. I changed my frame rate from 60 to 30 to 24, and I still couldn't figure it out. It was still flashing. I know it's annoying, guys. Bon cham mui chin. Come on. So that's it, guys. That's what a convenience store looks like in Vietnam. At least that's what Family Mart looks like. And at least that's what specifically this family mart looks like. It's not finished yet, but it looks like it's gonna be nice. You guys saw what it looked like upstairs. So I lost my chef and I lost my supervision for the weekend, so that means I have nobody to cook for me. And it also means I have nobody to tell me to quit drinking caffeinated sugary drinks. So the good with the bad. The grand total was 419,000. And I'll put that on the screen because I can't do math in my head, but it's about $17, so not so bad. Junk food, sodas, candies, chips, even a few pins for work, all for under $20. That's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed the trip to a convenience store in Vietnam. It's an unfinished family mart. Uh, next one I'll do 7-Eleven so you see something a little bit more familiar. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and as always, stay awesome. Mm -hmm.